Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast about access. We're talking about error messages you receive. And have you ever seen this one? You can't create a relationship and enforce referential integrity. I'm going to click OK on the error message. And what I'm attempting to do is join the employees and orders table on the employee ID number. When I click create, I'm getting this message. I can't create the relationship and enforce referential integrity. Now I can go ahead and remove enforce referential integrity and create the relationship, the one to many relationship so that one employee can be linked to many order records. But we know that that leaves us open to the creation of orphan records and that would be records in the orders table that do not have a match in the employees table. So when you already get a database that is loaded with data and then you try to link the tables and by all means, you do need to link your tables in one-to-many relationships because that will greatly improve the performance of your database. It's very common to have orphan records so that when you create the relationship, you can't enforce referential integrity, which further prevents you from creating orphan records. So what we're going to do now is find our orphan records, fix our orphan records, and then go back and edit the relationships and enforce referential integrity. I have to take that off for right now. If I do have a one-to-many relationship between the employees tables and the orders tables. And let's just look at the data quickly. In the employees table, I've got employee ID 1 through 17, roughly. I'm skipping some auto number values. We talked about that in the previous screencast. And in the orders table, I've got some records, and I intentionally created some more from records with salesperson 99. That's really the employee ID field. I'm going to go into de design view and go to the employee ID field and remove this caption because it's just confusing. So it's not going to be captioned salesperson anymore. It's going to say employee ID. Save and show that in data sheet view. And there we go. Employee ID is the linking field between the employees table and the orders table. It's the primary key field in the employees table and the foreign key field in the orders table that links the two together in a one-to-many relationship. And I see some 99s here. So I have no employee 99. So that's why I cannot create that relationship and enforce referential integrity. Now I can just see these records right here, but let's say you've got hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of records and you don't know where the orphans are and you want to find them. I'm gonna show you how to do that. We do that in a query create query design view. I'm going to drag in the employees table and the orders table, and they do have a weak one-to-many relationship. I'm going to pull in the employee ID field from the employees table. We can see that it's the primary key field there, and the employee ID field from the orders table, it's the foreign key field there. And I'm going to change the relationship between these two tables here at query level. I can do that because a query is really creating SQL. And behind the scenes, what I can do by double clicking that link line, I can say, hey, give me all the records from the orders table, even if they do not match the employees table, and click OK. And if I look at that in SQL view, for those of you that want to look under the hood, this is called a right join, where we're pulling in all of the records from the mini table, the child table, even if they don't match in the linking field. Back to design view. So now I can look at my data sheet view and I can see that I've got 33 records. And if I scroll down, I'm finding those records where I don't have a match in the employees table. And this could be three or it could be 300 or, or whatever. Now I'm gonna go back to design view and also pull in the order ID field and look at it again. Only this time I'm going to put in is null criteria in the employee ID field out of the employees table, and that will give me just those records, order ID 1, 12, and 23, that are orphans. So then with that knowledge, I can go into the orders table, and look up record 1, 12, and 23, and I can see that I've got, ooh, an employee ID 99. Now, the way you would fix this is based on the data. Maybe this is just garbage information and those records need to be deleted. Or maybe they were entered incorrectly. Or, or maybe you'd like to create an employee 99 
or maybe they really do belong to an employee. We're going to look at our employees table and let's say Mia Perez, we're going to give her those records. And so I just go back to my orders table and on those three fields, I'm going to change my 99 to 17. I know I've got a match there in my employee table. I'm going to close the employees table. I'm going to close the orders table. I'm going to go back to design view and close this query. I don't need to save it. When I go back to my relationship screen, I will click that link line. I can enforce referential. I can enforce referential. I can enforce referential integrity and click OK and get the one and infinity symbols, which in access indicate that referential integrity is enforced on that link line, even though without it, it's still a one to many relationship. It's just that those symbols also appear when I have referential integrity enforced. And of course, we want to do that so that we can prevent the creation of orphan records. Thank you.